Tonight, we continue our coverage of medical marijuana and the proposed bill in Idaho to make it legal. Last night, we shared with you how some cancer patients and their doctors feel about legalizing medical marijuana. Tonight, we're going to look into how one state representative hopes to make the bill a reality and how law enforcement officers say it might affect their jobs and affect the community. Local News 8's Brett Crandall tells us how the whole idea got started. After hearing stories from several of his constituents who suffer from painful illnesses, State Representative from Moscow Tom Trail wants to legalize medical marijuana. Because medical marijuana is legal in the state of Washington, some of Trail's constituents who suffer from cancer and other painful diseases cross the border to use marijuana, prescribed by their Idaho doctors for the pain. Trail wants them to receive the care they need in their home state, but some fear others would abuse it. Sergeant Chuck Kunsaitis of the Rexburg Police Department says there are more drug problems in Rexburg than people probably realize. If medical marijuana were legalized, he says it could make problems worse. From a law enforcement perspective, uh, I believe our contacts of illegal drugs, specifically marijuana, would increase. Um, our driving under the influenced, uh, drug influenced, uh, would probably also be an increase uh, if, it were, if it were legalized. We'd to limit its abuse, Trail says Idaho's law would be stricter than many other states. The proposed piece of legislation is modeled after New Jersey's recently passed medical marijuana law. Only those with certain medical conditions approved by the state would be eligible for a prescription. Those eligible would also need to have background checks. Patients would only be allowed two ounces of the drug a month, and it would only be available at one of the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare's six dispensary locations. But even with so many restrictions, law enforcement officers worry they will find more people abusing the drug. And then you run into problems such as counterfeiting the cards and, and the people that uh, are prescribed the marijuana, then they can obviously easily pass that along to someone else. You, we would run into those types of problems. Uh, so I think there's a multitude of problems that could arise and probably some that we haven't even thought of at this point. While the legislation of medical marijuana might help those with medical conditions, Fremont County Prosecutor Joette Lukabot says she doesn't see Idaho jumping on board. I, I, I think legalizing it is a step in the wrong direction. But Trail says he believes this is what Idahoans want. It's not going to be an easy job. You know, I would predict if we had it on the ballot, there's an amendment, it would pass. Uh, but it costs about half a million dollars to get your 40,000 petitions and everything else. Representative Trail says he will soon begin to organize town hall meetings around the state to discuss his proposal and inform the public on how it would work. He also warns with a state like Idaho, it may take a couple of years to get lawmakers to agree on it. In the studio, I'm Brett Crandall, KIFI Local News 8 HD. All right, if passed next legislative session, Idaho would become the 15th state to make medical marijuana legal. We would like to know what you think about this idea. Go to our website, localnews8.com, vote on our poll question or leave a comment and uh, check out our video of last night's story on our website also. Which has kind of a different perspective, more in oh, favor yeah. than we heard today. Yeah, a doctor, an oncologist, and a patient that's suffering from cancer going, I could use the help. So, so we've got both sides of the both story sides, over the yeah. two nights.